Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew here. Today we're taking a look at the ASUS Rogue ZX50. This is their answer to the very popular Dell Inspiron 7559. So let's see how it stacks up. The ASUS Republica Gamer laptops are very popular. However, they've never had a really affordable option until now. After seeing the success of the Dell Inspiron 7559, ASUS has launched the ZX50 with these kind of specs that are very similar. You're getting an Intel Core i7-6700HQ, 8GB of DDR4 RAM, the NVIDIA GTX 960M, a 1TB drive running at 5400 RPM, and the retail price is 749 US. I was a bit disappointed with the display flex, especially towards the middle, and the keyboard flex was about average among other gaming laptops in this price range. The design of this laptop looks pretty basic compared to other ASUS Rogue, however it does still stand out compared to other basic laptops. The whole construction of this laptop is all made out of plastic, and the weight comes in at 5.7 pounds, and its thickest point is 1.4 inches. And here's a quick look at the interior, where you got your two top facing speakers. To upgrade your laptop, simply remove those two Phillips screws, lift up on the cover, and boom, you have access to your 2.5 inch drive, M.2 SSD slot, and your two sodium RAM slots. The performance from this stock setup is painfully slow. I would recommend upgrading to an M.2 SSD for your main OS for the best performance. Let's take a look at your IOs on the right side of the laptop. You got your headset and microphone jack, USB 2, DVD drive, and your security lock slot. On the left, you got your charging port, exhaust vent, USB Type-C, full-size HDMI, RJ45 Ethernet, and two USB 3s. And rest assured, your SD card is located in the front as well as your LED indicators for your hard drive, power, battery, airplay mode, and caps lock key. The 15.6 inch TN panel on this laptop is just awful. You get a low color gamut, the sRGB coverage came in at 59%, and the Adobe RGB scored 44%. Pound for pound, the Dell Inspiron 7559 takes the cake with its better quality IPS display. The trackpad is, mm, okay, it tends to jump around a lot, however, two finger scrolling, multi-touch gestures were all on point. And since this is a gaming laptop, you'll most likely get a mouse anyways. The keyboard on this laptop is rock solid. You also get those red WASD keys, which looks pretty awesome. The tactile feedback from this keyboard is great, and the key travel is excellent. Overall, this makes a very comfortable typing experience. You do get a backlit keyboard, but the nice thing here is you get three multiple brightness settings, low, medium, and high. You're getting strong performance from a Skylake-based Intel Core i7-6700HQ, which is freaking fast. There was a pretty good amount of bloat around this laptop, but thankfully you can remove them one by one and use a program like CCleaner to remove them all automatically. You're going to notice a big increase in performance after removing the bloatware and disabling McAfee. This laptop features the NVIDIA GTX 960M, which is based on the Maxwell architecture. You also get 2GB of GDDR5. Now keep in mind, the Inspiron 7559 features 4GB of GDDR5. With Battlefield 4 at 1920x1080p, I'm able to run it on high settings and get an average around 50 to 60 frames per second. You can also run it on ultra settings and get an average around 35 to 45 frames per second. With that being said, the 960M is still a pretty capable card going into 2017. The fan noise was pretty high during my Battlefield 4 sessions, I was getting around 47 to 50 decibels. Here are the external temperatures after 45 minutes of Battlefield 4 gameplay. The top section is pretty warm at around 46 degrees Celsius. The WASD keys remain pretty cool at around 38 to 40 degrees Celsius. And the hottest point was towards the left side where the fan is. It came in around 54 to 56 degrees Celsius. Battery performance was decent out of the 48 watt hour battery pack. During my test, I was getting around 3 to 3.5 hours out of full charge with medium screen brightness. And if you plan on gaming on the battery pack, expect around an hour of gameplay. Here goes a quick test of the 720p HD webcam. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. There are two top facing speakers on top, they sound really good, however it's really missing that low end kick from the missing subwoofer. Let's get to the closing thoughts of the ASUS ZX50. This is basically a cheaper version of the ASUS GL552. The biggest difference here is you lose the higher quality IPS panel found on the GL552 and the aluminum lid. ASUS almost hit a home run with this laptop posing a serious threat to the Dell Inspiron 7559, however the TN panel really holds it back. Until then, the 7559 is still the ring and world champ in terms of the best performing gaming laptop for about $800. Alright guys, this completes my full review on the ASUS ZX50. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to sub. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.